Merry Christmas if you look at this almost real time. I hope you enjoy yourself and I hope that you receive the gift of Christmas. If you want to watch more Christmas themed videos, I have from previous years. So just go back and see if you can find maybe search for Christmas in the searching area on my YouTube channel. We will begin in child's pose today. If your knees can't work with that, maybe just come into a seat or do anything else that calms your body and that you can kind of stay in for a little bit. There are different ways to do child's pose, but I prefer some distance in between my knees. So there's space for belly and all of that. And then get my forehead down on the mat. Now, if that's not possible, maybe you can stack your hands. If you have a block, you can use that on your forehead. You can either bring your hands to the front or just down by your side if that's better for your shoulders. So find a version that is somewhat comforting and restful and we begin by focusing on our breath you might feel as you inhale your abdomen will reach the thighs so try to breathe in the length left to right as you inhale and empty out your lungs as you exhale Sometimes your mind is full of thoughts and feelings and all of that, and sometimes it's not. And maybe you need to remind yourself today that no matter what you're full of, no matter if you're confused or at peace, it's God all knows it. And you don't have to explain or excuse yourself. Maybe just receive that acceptance that is brought to us through Jesus Christ, through grace. A free gift. We don't need to earn any peace. We are given peace. Now, if you want to move, as I read a few verses from the Bible, you can do that. You might come into tabletop. You might just rest here if that's great for you. Whatever works. I'm going to read from Matthew. It's going to be about the wise men. So you stay in child's pose or move in tabletop, whatever you like. So Matthew chapter 2 and parts of it. So this is about what we call the wise men or the magics. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, magic from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born, King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. Then there's a bit about Herod and things move on. Uh, you can read that by yourself. But after they talked to the king, they went on their way, and the star had, uh, uh, the star that had seen the east went ahead of them and stopped over the place where the child was born. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. And coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened up their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold and of incense of Mira. Uh, 
and then they're leaving again. So maybe picturing these, we call them wise men. In the Danish translation of this, it's actually those who look at the stars and, and interpret the stars um, almost like um, astrologists and, and those kinds of, of people. <laughs> I think it's interesting that they're from the East, right? <laughs> now bring your hands to the front if you're still in child's pose. We'll come back to the theme. And slowly come into downward facing dog. Tabletop is another version if you're not into downward facing dog. I think how hustled Mary and Joseph must have been. Probably they were not in that stable or barn anymore. Probably they moved into a house or somewhere else. <laughs> when the wise men came, we don't know. But all of a sudden, these wealthy, mysterious men are worshipping. They must have been like, what's going on? <laughs> but what a gift they bring, right? Now bring your feet to the top of the mat, fold forward. And again, just warm up by swaying from side to side. Chair pose, so bend your knees, bring your arms to the front. So just a little bit of warming up before we slow down. So take your hands down by your side and bring your pinky finger back, squeeze the shoulder blades. And as you bring your arms to the front and then up to the roof, open up your chest. Maybe looking at the stars, <laughs> arms out to the side, small back bend. And then again, gather your hands, straighten your spine, bend your knees, bring your arms back without arching the back too much. And then we continue this, bring your arms up to the front, open up your chest. You might inhale as you have a straight spine. Exhale as you sit down in your chair, move your arms back. Inhale as you bring your arms up. Exhale as you open up. You can do this slower or faster. Go deeper or not. In your chair, in your back bend. Two more times. And when you're up and standing on the mat, find mountain pose, hands down by your side. Maybe you catch your breath, shake your shoulders. So maybe because the wise man brings gifts, maybe that's also one of the reasons why we offer gifts to each other during Christmas. Maybe that's also an inspiration. <laughs> now bring your feet and your knees together as best as you can, the top of the mat. You stay put looking as best you can as the, towards the screen and then sit into your chair pose. So bring your arms to the front, knees aligned, Hips aligned for you with the short end of the mat. And we're gonna do a little bit of twisting with a tall spine leaning slightly forward. Gonna bring the arms out to the left side. So bring the left shoulder slightly back without <laughs> getting the knees apart. Standing here. Bit of a, a strong move, but you can always adjust, make it smaller. Breathe, core in. And then coming back up in high mountain, bring the left arm down by your side. You might find that the balance is a little bit challenged as you move your whole body towards your left side for a stretch. So bring the uh, left arm like down, like you could almost reach the floor. And maybe you'll look up, moving this top arm slightly back for a little bit more of an opening without leaning back in your back bend. Go 
coming back into mountain pose as the top of the mat fold forward, still keeping your feet together. Hands on the floor, or as you use a block, go with that. Stretch the back of the hamstrings. <sighs> Maybe you take your fingers, your thumb, and massage the back of your neck. Just a bit of movement, not the skull, but where the bones and muscles are kind of attaching. No need to close your eyes if you're wobbly. <laughs> and then let go. Bring your left leg to the back. Open up your hip. Warrior two. So those heels are always aligned <laughs> somewhat in warrior two. You bend the front knee. Bring your arms out. Make sure that your spine is tall. You might lean a little bit forward, lean a little bit back, and then find that middle ground where you feel like, oh yeah, my spine is directly towards the sky like a Christmas tree. <laughs> and then you gaze at the front. So what gifts are we bringing to the crypt or to, to the child or to Jesus today? Are we offering all our excellent achievements, all our good deeds, all of that? Or what are we bringing? Extend the front leg, triangle pose. So move to the front. Bring that front arm to the outer edge of the knee or the thigh, wherever you can go. And avoid the tendency of reaching down to the floor because you think you have to. You don't have to. I want you to keep the hip aligned with those heels I was talking about earlier. And then maybe bring that top arm up overhead, align it with the ear and kind of reach out almost like you're doing a side bend. You might feel this stretch get stronger in your body. And then navel in pelvic floor in, bring yourself back, looking at the floor, hands down, back heel off, step the front foot back, plank pose, using elbows, using knees, whatever is great for you, taking the shoulders away from ears, bring the arms down into the mat, or the fingers, I mean, <laughs> And then child's pose. Or if you have a lot of energy, you might continue into down dog for a few breaths. I'm almost always picturing the those wise men bowing down like this in front of Jesus and bringing their gifts, right? Offering and bowing down this humble posture, showing respect and honor, which in itself was maybe the biggest gift, maybe not the gold and incense and all of that, but actually bowing down. They were respected, wealthy, wise, men from their country bowing down to this small child would have been quite impressive i think just picturing them in all their garments and <laughs> all their probably really amazing clothes and once again Downward facing dog. So I bring my hands just slightly more to the front of the mat. 
And you can stay in a dynamic downward facing dog, moving, bending your knees, and just stay still. Moving the hip back away from the hands. No need to get the heels on the mat. You might want to bend the, elbow, the knees. And then again to the front of the mat. Roll yourself up into mountain pose. All of these postures on the other side. So again, feet together. Sinking down into chair pose. And maybe you squeeze your knees, your thighs, whatever you can squeeze a little bit together. Actually helps to stabilize yourself beside activating all the muscles. And then you do that side stretch or twist to watch your right side this time. So again, take a look at your knees. If they squeeze apart, try to focus on your hip, bring that in and then move top arm back, other arm down. And maybe you feel as you move this arm up and back, you feel some tension here on the back of the shoulder blades. That's perfect. It just strengthen that part of your shoulder. Why not? And then mountain pose, left arm up overhead. Bring yourself to your right side. Right hand kind of moves down. And before I spoke to this top arm, I see a lot of people having it in front of their head. So maybe you want to bring it back. Looking up. If you can hold the balance. Release and fold forward. <sighs> Shake your head. Your right leg moves back. This time, pivot the foot. Warrior two, once again, just opposite side. Then we did before. So much more distance in between your feet than I have, or smaller if you want it a little bit more easy today. Focusing on those full breaths in and out. Triangle pose. So you extend the front leg, keep the hip where it is, and then lean forward, bringing the arms in the outside of the knee. Lean towards the front leg. Now we can definitely just keep the top arm overhead, like I'm doing right now. Or you can bring it more to the side, like we did earlier on, like you're trying to get something somewhere on top of your head. Getting this side stretch more active. And letting go. Both hands on the floor. Back heel off. Step the front foot back. Now you can either stay in plank or you can come down on your elbows and do side plank. I like to fold my mat. Just one posture that's really intense. <laughs> Just do one on each side. So side plank, lifting the hip up, making sure the elbow is stacked underneath the shoulder. So it's a little bit of Christmas burn here. <laughs> 
Welcome to lift the top leg if you're into more crazy variations. Or bring the bottom knee down for a little bit easier one. One more breath. And then bring both elbows down and what we do on one side, we also do on the other. So again, find that variation, bottom knee down or top leg lifted. Whatever you do, breathe and make yourself warm. And let go. I think we need child's pose again. <laughs> and I'll advise you to bring your hands down by your arms down by your side. And maybe sigh out. Now, during Christmas, we don't bring bad gifts, unless we want to make a joke. <laughs> but what I find so interesting is that that faith in Jesus is not just about showing off good deeds and bring all the good things. It's about honesty, real life. So if you bring your arms to the front, maybe make like a kind of a, a ball here. And maybe bring out, as a gift, maybe not as a gift, but bring out what is not pretty in your life. What might be hurting, what might be stressful. Because Jesus, more than anything, wants honesty and real life and not just pretty gifts. He wants the real thing. So is there anything that you can offer to Jesus that is not pretty? Not wrapped into sugar-coated phrases. And welcome to sigh out and release. Faith is not about earning peace, doing good things only. And this is what I was reminded of as I read this passage today. So instead, let's look up and offer our honest, honest hearts. And we can do that in camel pose. Maybe that also has something to do with, with Christmas. <laughs> Most likely those wise men were traveling on camels. We don't know for sure. But come up on your knees. Make sure that hip and knees stay stacked. And then you might want to bring your hands behind you, fingers down or up. And then just lean back for a heart opener. Some of you might want to go for the camel pose where you reach your, your heels. I'm not going to do that today. Just open up. So Jesus, thank you that you don't just want all the pretty parts of my life. You want the dirty laundry. <laughs> because you want to cleanse it. You want to make me whole. You want to guide my life so I'm offering my heart okay 
Okay, bring your navel in and bring yourself up. You might want to take your hands down on the mat to find tabletop. And then do your cat pose for a little bit of a different stretch for the back. And then find a seat. Again, you can do hero pose sitting on your shin or your feet. I'm just going to sit in comfortable seat, simple seated posture. Bring your right arm to the front, left elbow on top. And then we're going to do eagle arms, I call it. So <laughs> this might be like it. Or you might want to gather your palms, something like this. If I turn a little bit to the side, you can better see. So bring your elbows away from your chest somewhat. And then you bring your hands away from your face, again, somewhat. And then we have the tendency of lifting your shoulders up when we do that. So bring those shoulders down. Sit with a tall spine and then breathe a little bit here. Stretching those scapula muscles that we used quite a lot today <laughs> as we brought our arms up overhead and stuff like that. And let go. Now we always do the opposite side, even though I feel it almost the same in left and right side, but left arm at the bottom, right elbow at the top. And again, whatever you can do with your hands, um, anything works. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that you cannot do the posture just because your palms can reach. Elbows away from the chest, hands away from the head, shoulders down, tall spine. Did you get that? Letting go. If you want to do plow pose with your feet overhead and you know what that posture is, you're welcome to do that. I'm not going to show it, but some of you would know. <laughs> so uh, plow pose in a seated variation could be this one. Legs to the front, maybe bring your hands underneath the knee because that's uh, helpful to bend the knees if you feel it like a whole lot on the back of those thighs. So lean forward and just hang out here. Either focusing on stretching the hamstrings, or if you want to go more into your lower back, do those hands underneath the, the knees, or maybe have a blanket under the knees. Go with the navel first, then the chest, and then maybe the chin. going to finish with resting on the mat and I know that it might be hard to prioritize the time to to breathe and just stay still especially if you've got kids and things are happening but see it as an investment <laughs> in the in the minutes and the days after resting because you probably really need it so bring whatever you need to to rest it might be a blanket it might be a the block underneath your head so come down on the back oh, isn't it nice when you allow yourself to do it <laughs> legs out and then your hands on the floor palms facing up and you might squeeze the shoulders slightly down close your eyes soften your whole face That might mean opening up your mouth a little bit. 
and let the tongue drop down from the top of the root, the roof of the mouth. We'll stay here for three to four minutes, so don't be afraid that it's too long. <laughs> Stay here and receive the gift of Christmas to you. The Christmas gift that is offered to you is unconditional love. It is acceptance. It is power and strength to endure. It is forgiveness. It is healing, maybe in your heart and maybe physically, I don't know. But say, thank you, I receive. I'm going to finish this video, but please stay down. I will come into a seat, but stay down on the mat as I'll finish with a prayer. And it will be a blessing upon you and your family during this Christmas. So God, may you bless each one resting right now on the floor. Bless their family, their holiday, time to restore, renew. Pray that you will bless them. I pray, God, that more people in this world will receive the gift of peace, of forgiveness of healing in heart, body, and mind. May your star shine bright this Christmas. Guide us towards the crypt where we also can kneel down. Amen. I hope you're still down on your mat so you can start moving your fingers and legs and stuff. Hug in your knees when you're still on the floor. And then you might roll onto the side or whatever help is helpful to make you sit on the floor and then I want to thank you so much for joining this video thank you for for sharing this gift of, of cross yoga of Christian yoga may may you be blessed and thank you for everything this year continue to watch the channel and share with friends